the rifleman absolutely melts through the rifleman. Oh my goodness. Hello guys, this is Boo Cable back with another video and today it's Hammerman again and today we're actually going to be trying to take down Hammerman this time, no making um, cool bases, obviously we've got different designs here, we've got the gun base, the it was the spider base, we've got the jellyfish base, the pokeball base and that's my blank base there, so basically we're just going to be going with this sort of base here and this is going to be the one that we hopefully should be taking down Hammerman with and we have got the hot pot ready guys it's going to be the first time I've ever used the hot pot um, in a hammerman attack so we're going to be seeing if we can take him down in fact you know what you know what guys we're just going to boost double boost the ice we're going to make sure we win this time come on oh there's a wee nice little shock mine by itself we're going to just chuck you in he here no 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 not there Goodness gracious, it's hard to move it when my finger actually covers where I'm deciding where to go. We'll just put it there, it doesn't matter. Let's get in, first attack, it's not going to matter anyway. I mean, this is going to be super, super easy, so we'll just put it on times four for you guys. The hot pot is going to just melt the troops anyway. And, yep, yeah, game over, bye-bye, tanks, bang. Right, let's get on to the next one. We're going to try and speed this up a little bit, probably putting it on times four for most of these attacks, guys, so... And um, let's try this. So stage two, let's see if this makes um, I think we, I usually start struggling round about stage five. That's when it gets a little bit harder for me. Um, but we usually take stage five down. Stage six um it usually catches us out. But I've had times where stage six is actually easier than stage seven, guys. Just because of the fact that depending on what troop combination they actually um pump out at you. And obviously, if you want the best tip for taking down Hammerman, always put your troops at the front. Um, it's so much easier because they, you really, the key goal to killing Hammerman is basically just to try and kill the troops as fast as possible before the next wave comes. And obviously sometimes that doesn't work, especially if they have medics. Medics is a big, big problem and they are probably one of the key to basically surviving uh, how Hammerman survives, it's, it's either medics or grenaders, grenaders especially, because a lot of people clump their troops together, not clump their troops, clump their defences together, for example like I am right now, and the grenaders really like when they clump the defences together, it makes it super super easy for them to take you out, but as you guys will see here, we're melting through this, and I think we're going to definitely be able to do this just by looking how easily we're doing this so far. Um, but obviously that can change, not saying anything yet, so there's stage 5, this is the one that sometimes catches a lot of people out, but we should, well we've got two ice statues up, and I never ever really use ice statues at all when I'm taking Hammerman, in fact I barely ever use them, it's a com comment there from the YouTube channel, um, right, the tanks are down the right hand side, I mean look at this, they can't, they didn't even destroy a defence, didn't even destroy a defense, they destroyed some resource buildings, but not even a single defense, and that was stage 5, guys. So, stage 6. Stage 6. Oh my goodness, come on. So they've laid some critters and shocks, which probably don't matter, because they've actually shocked the wrong defenses anyway. They wanted to shock the rockets and the shock launchers. So, right, so we've got some medics, something that I know is pretty bad, but... To be honest, we're going to rip through this anyway. Again, they've shocked the wrong defences at the wrong time. But that's fine. I like when Hammerman makes mistakes. Look at that. Oh, it melts through the rifleman. Absolutely melts through the rifleman. Oh, my goodness. Right, that's looking good. Yeah, we're going to put it on times two. Yeah, this is just melting through everything. Oh, my goodness, that's so good. More Zookas. Oh, they have no chance. They have absolutely no chance. The Rockets will take them out. Um, no, this is game over for them. And we're going to be going on to Stage 7. See if we can steamroll Stage 7, guys. This will be like the easiest Hammerman ever. Um, so let's see how this works. Here we go. Stage 7. Let's go straight into it. Um, 
my goodness, this will be one of the easiest Tamerman takedowns I've ever actually did in this game. So we've got the Riflemen first. We're going to steamroll the Riflemen. Um, Riflemen are not particularly good guys against... Unless they have Medics and Zookas. If it was RZM, that's a pretty good combo. But the, the, see we ha how we have to try and kill them before the next wave comes. Um, and we've got a Scorcher in here, which shouldn't really be much of a problem, hopefully. Um, because we've got this Hot Pot blasting away melting everything these two cannons deal really look at that the two cannons have just taken them out already that hot pot and the flamethrowers are melting through all them riflemen and um, we've got some some tanks but they're going in the perfect site for the boom cannons it's going to be great i mean this is this hot pot is amazing and it's only a level one it's only a level one hot pot and that's melting through everything more riflemen this is like rifleman central guys um, this is going to be fine because then boom cannons are going to take down the tanks and then these shocks and rockets should definitely deal with them riflemen because they've got no medics. If there was medics right now, it would be impossible. But that's why medics and grenaders are so overpowered, um, especially for hammerman defences. But we're going to definitely do this and I'm going to put it on times two and that is it. First time, not a single... Not a single defeat in terms of hammering. Obviously, I'm a low level victory points. I'm going to definitely see that in the comments. Oh, you're a low level victory points. But yes, that's true. So I have to admit it. Yes, I am a low level victory points. I should be taking it down. It's embarrassing if I don't take it down, guys. So yeah, there we go. Managed to take down hammering. Easy peasy. I'm going to put it back to my normal base now. I've only got one normal base. I probably should make two. So we'll load that back up. Put the hot pot gonna put the hot pot in there nicely and then put that sniper tower up here and yeah I actually some people ask why have you got that machine gun there it actually applies pressure to warrior smoky warrior rushes uh, right at the start I actually might move that even forward because as you guys know smoky warriors and um, that means they have to use extra smokes at the start that's why I, I that's why I do it so um yep yeah, hope you guys really enjoyed the video please subscribe for more boom beach videos and I'll see you guys next time goodbye